All right, what's up, guys? It's Jared here at Fight Sports HD. I wanted to give you a fast tutorial about something that I actually just learned today. Um, I had uh, I had a program called Pluralize for a while, but I just recently switched to Adobe Premiere um, CC. So I wanted to show you how Premiere um, worked with Pluralize 3. I was really impressed with how it worked. I wanted to show you guys how it worked as well. So basically what I have right here is this is a documentary I'm going to be working on. It's for an MMA fighter that we work with and uh, he had a bunch of interviews with family, friends, stuff like that. It's at least I'd say about an hour, hour and a half of footage and we shot it with a DSLR and we recorded the audio with a separate lav microphone. So that's a lot if we had to go in there and manually uh, sync the video to the audio. But I found Pluralize 3 to work great with Premiere Pro uh, CC and I wanted to show you how that worked. So here we go. Um, basically I used to have Final Cut Pro 7, and that worked a whole lot differently, but this one was a little bit tricky. So the first thing you have to do is if you have Creative Cloud, you go up here and you make sure you have Extension Manager installed. Um, now once that's in installed, if you go to um, your Pluralize download, this is where it is right here, uh, so Red Giant Installer, there's an Extras folder, and your Extras folder has something called Premiere Pro... Uh, Pluralize 3 connector for Premiere Pro. There it is. You install that. Everything should work fine. You restart Premiere. Now you're good to go. Um, so now what I have up here is I have a tutorial sequence to show you how this all works. So um, here we go. This is my source video, day four source video. This is where all of the interviews were. So I'm just going to copy starting from the first one all the way down to the last one here. Hang on. We're going to drag it into our timeline. Now that's dragged in, um, that's all HD, so I want to change the settings to match. So now we have, let's take a look, all of this. We have about an hour and six minutes of interviews with his friends, family, everything like that. So now let's go up to his source audio. So that was your source video. Here's your so source audio. Um, and this was all recorded with the Zoom H4n with a lav mic. So here we go. Uh, we're going to click all of that, drag that into the timeline right underneath it. So you have A1 is the audio that was connected to the video, and A2 is just the audio separately. Now, if I play this, it's probably not going to sync up. Hey, I'm yours right now. See, that doesn't sync up at all. Kind of kid. You know, he wasn't a typical kid. He was always... So what you do now is you bring it to Pluralize. If you went through the connector... Uh, like I told you before, you're going to do Windows, go up to Windows and Premiere, Extension, Pluralize 3. It's going to ask you to save, you press Continue. Now watch how awesome this is, this is great. Just press OK, that's no big deal, Pluralize 3. Um, it's going to show you your project, so this is the Matter Royal documentary. You want to go down to your sequence, ours was Tutorial Sequence. I had already done this previously, so that's what you're looking at. But Tutorial Sequence, you click that. It's going to load all of your project media into this uh, into this window here. So just give it a second, and it should load up. And here we go. So here it is. Whatever was in that sequence is here. It's just kind of drawing all the waveforms and stuff. So just give it a second. But as you can see, you can drag through this just like a timeline. You see all the footage just like it was in Premiere. But it's still not synced up, so we're just going to wait for preparing media to get to 100% here. And now watch how easy this is. So we're going to play it. It's still not synced up. All you do is you press synchronize right here. You press that. And it's going to basically just jumble everything up and make sure all the audio waveforms match up. And now it's good. Now, something like this here, if it's red, that means I might have pressed record on the audio a little bit sooner um, and then maybe stopped it. So it might be a two-second clip of just silence or something like that. But everything else is pretty much synced up. So let's just take a listen real quick. I'm trying to be as good as possible. <laughs> That's synced up. And if we go back here, that's all totally 100% synced up. And the beautiful thing is what it does now is when you do export timeline, it's going to get rid of the audio from the camera and it's going to merge it with your uh, audio from your recorder. 
so you don't have to worry about you know out of sync or you know if you delete the video the audio goes away um, it's all gonna be right there so basically what I just did is I pressed export timeline you're gonna have right here tutorial sequence synced replaced that's gonna be everything so here it is okay here is uh the ultimate fighter there it is there's all of your video all of your audio synced up uh, nice and neat it's connected so you can move this around and it stays synced and uh, that's how easy it is so that was an hour and six minutes of footage we synced that all up in about a minute minute and a half I mean that would take hours if not at least a day before so I'm super impressed I think Premiere Pro uh, Creative Cloud is awesome I thought um, Pluralize 3 is a super huge time saver so wanted to show that to you show you a little bit of our workflow and uh, hopefully you guys got something out of this again this is Jared with Fight Sports HD and we'll see you next time